I found a new product that I've been trying out in beta form that might just blow you away. Now a while ago, the same company had one, they just called it Think Car. But this is called the Think Diagnostic. They're realizing people are looking for a higher end scan tool who seriously work on their cars. But they don't want to pay four grand or more to get the ability to do some serious stuff on their car. I don't like paying that either. <laughs> In quite a few instances, it's better than this $4,000 scan tool that I have. Now yeah, the system works with your cell phone and they're not giving them away. It's a little bit under $200. But since it uses your phone for all the computer analysis, they don't have to create any of this stuff. They just need to make the software. So basically, they're selling you software. And the company itself, Thinkcar, has decided to go into the subscription mode. And even this fancy scan tool, hey, I gotta pay about $900 a year to keep its subscription current. And you can pay for what you use. In this case, you pay for the GM software. But man, what it can do. Watch this. Like any dongle, it's simple. You just plug in the OBD port up here. And as you can see, when you plug it in, it beeps and shows it's working, it lights up. Then I'm gonna put it on this cute top go thing I got. Watch this. You open it up, you stick it in the drink holder, then you tighten the screw here. You just keep spinning it and spinning it and spinning it. Now it's nice and tight. So when you have your phone stuck, you can put it in any position you want and it'll stay there. Push the magic button in the back. Whee, it opens up, stick the phone in and squeeze it. And here's the app. It's cold, so it's acting up. Here we go. So we'll start by just turning it on for OBD functions. Now, as you can see, it's analyzing everything. It's setting it up to the car. It now is connected and it knows. And look at all the stuff you can do. Read codes, read data stream, read reset codes, clear fault codes, test results. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. Now, let's just say you want to read data stream. Select them one at a time, or you can select all of them. If we select all of them, you can see there's a lot of data here. Da, 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 da. We're in the E's and F's now. Just keep going and going. And one of the coolest things is its graphing capability. Here's the oxygen sensor output. We'll turn it on, select OK. Now it's getting the data. And it shows the data here. You want to get a little more complex? Watch this. For that, we're going to go to the all system full function. That has everything. As you can see, it's reading the VIN number automatically, going through all the data, and it knows what it is with the VIN number, and you click on the next step. Under this system, we've gone into the oxygen sensor analysis. It isn't just one thing that says there's a problem. Look at all the data that you can get about the oxygen sensors. This is about as in-depth as you can possibly get. We'll click on one and we can get all kinds of data on that particular sensor. And when we click on them again, look at this. Full graphing capability. It shows you the full graphing capability of what that sensor is doing. This is insane data. Absolutely necessary if you're serious about working on a car. Not only will it do the usual trouble codes, but it will go into a system and then you get to choose all through that system for even more data. It's just crazy with something like this for around 200 bucks can do. Not only can it read the code, clear the code, read the data stream, it can test many actuators and it even has special functions. In this case, it's a GM. You have to reset the idle if you change stuff like the throttle, it can do that. It can even reset your oil warning light that says it's time for an oil change. My super expensive scan tool, it can't go that far. All you need is a good cell phone. These things are many computers. Why should a company have to make the gigantic scan tool? All that complexity. When it's already in your phone, these guys are selling you a little dongle, which costs nothing to make, but they're selling you all that software. And yes, it is a subscription service. You pay every year to subscribe. But like I said, my subscription for the fancy one costs me almost 900 bucks a year. If this thing is $49 a year, who cares? That's a little bit of subscription. But the kind of information that this thing can do, that's peanuts. I mean, look at the stuff it can do. Torque converter, clutch pressure control, solenoid performance test status. We're talking about some serious testing and doing maintenance functions, resetting stuff. 
Look at all the different systems that it can reset. Injectors, electric bricks, oil, the airbag system, bleeding the brake system, the DPF, if you have a diesel with one of those diesel particulate filters, reset the EGR. Even some of them you have to reset the sunroof when you change the battery, you can do that. Now you can see here the cars that it works on. Everything from Audi, BMW, DDD, GM, Honda, Mazda, Mini, we go through the alphabet here. And to be totally upfront and truthful, you can see this is purchase software. This is the stuff that I have. But you only have to purchase if you need it. Let's say your car doesn't have a sunroof. Well, you're not going to purchase sunroof. Now, I always find it a pain as a professional mechanic if I couldn't get data. And a lot of companies have it that you have to pay for the data as you use it. So, of course, if you're working on your own car, if you can't do it and you have to take it to a mechanic, well, guess what? He's going to charge you a lot more than $49.95 to reset it, even though he's going to be doing the same thing you're doing, only he's paying the company, and then he's going to mark it up and sell it to you. So why not do it directly yourself? You're going to get what you pay for. If you don't pay anything for something, or pay just a little bit, odds are it's not going to work that good. These guys are doing serious software. As such, hey, expect to pay for it. I'm doing your videos. I pay a lot of money every year for the software to edit them. I gotta pay them. I actually pay them by the month because I got the top line one so my videos look really good. And if you're working on your own car, hey, you buy the software for your car. Let's say you got a Corvette. You buy it for General Motors. Well, you probably don't care about Audi. You don't own an Audi. Why pay the software when you're never gonna use it? You're gonna be paying about twice of what a blue driver runs. I like the blue driver. It's an excellent scan tool for a little bit under a hundred bucks. And this is about twice as much. And you do have to pay a yearly subscription if you continue using it. But it's at a whole nother level. And if you want to get to that level, you really can't beat it for something that's going to cost you around 200 bucks. Think it's in the record section of stuff that I've already done. If it's your car, it keeps all those records. So you can see what happened before, what the data was, something goes wrong, if you think it's the same, you can compare it, see if it's the same, or see if it's a different thing that's causing the problem. Because any cheap scan tool you can get for 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks, they can all do OBD2 data, but that's just generic data. You get a trouble code, it's a generic trouble code. There could be 20 things or more that cause that code to pop. This thing can go into those 20 different things so you can analyze it. Some people, hey, they're never gonna wanna go to this level of diagnosis, but modern cars are getting more and more complex. And if you really wanna learn how to work on your car, you get a tool that can give you this much information. It's kind of mind boggling, actually. And as you can see here, this is volume 1.01. .01. Who knows what the future's gonna bring with this stuff?